we and they have this young lady in the circle, Alex Duraco. She out there and get after it today. Sooner's got a combined five inning gnome up in Lawrence. Set to go. First pitch swinging a tailing fly ball into shallow left field. And that's a graveyard fly balls to lefty. I know how hard it is for lefty to play lefty. <laughs> <laughs> this one a one hopper speared by Storaco. The toss is a little too high. It pulls pretty quickly. Homa does not commit very many errors, Destiny. You know, I think when you do get that runner on in the catcher since March the 17th, a threat here for King. There's runners in scoring position. In the hole, past both the diving Brito and Lions, racing for the plate will come Limbaugh. The throw is not. Really great base running with Presley Limbaugh, not really expected for an outfielder. And I think you're right there. Had Jennings decided to try to wait and get the tag on the. Patty Gasso, 28th season as head coach here in Norman. She hit some rockets at practice, so their defense deserves a lot of credit. Bailey Lee having trouble, but what a play by Brito. The basket going to be Bedlam for the Big 12 title, and it still may factor. Big deal. Seeing Texas take that those three wins over OSU, I, that was shocking, I think, for a woman get hit by pitch. Looks like she's okay. The Sooner batting lineup. Those are the moments, though, that you remember. On the way to second base is Jada Coleman, the tag, and even a back tag by tying run in scoring position now for Tiare Jennings. Cole has more experience in the world. This one dunks into shallow center field by Jennings. Coleman had to wait to make sure field from left to right. Hamilton doing the pitching. And, and sit. So I'm really impressed with pretty prominent, pretty firm. Hey, you scored one, you got lucky. Yeah. Kansas, Washburn Rural High School. Sanders swings through that pitch. That's a big strikeout for Hamilton Destiny. And Nicole, what do you have today, Nicole? Just being, I think the consistency is, is key. 3 and 0 is the count. Nice to go into Sid Sanders. You know who you have up on comfortable with is go at their hands and mix up speeds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that chain face with the bases loaded if you're Casey Hamilton. So no one wants to go inside to Ken throughout the game. That one bounces up there. Ten home runs on the year for Hanson. Again, they kind of eased her into the lineup that opened the door. That's a good pitch. Sooner crowd, what'd you think of the pitch? Back with the 2-2 foul tipped and hung on to by Lyric Moore. Two big strikes. Senior from Kingwood, Texas. What a year she's having. 12 home runs. These things need to be taken care of. They've got to advance their runners. Nearly hit her. Haley Lee. On the plate or maybe angling off, maybe angling towards that right. It's just grown tremendously, and it's been so fun to watch. That is a bases loaded walk that ties this game. As her demeanor, everything about her looks really solid. This is a tough. Do here for Brito. Waited back, a slow roller to Harper, and not in time at first. The sooner. Also, whenever you're going head first, you, you don't have to slow down at all. You can kind of speed up. Run home run yesterday. Getting the start on senior day. Patagasso was talking about dorms and hanging out with her freshman class. And like, can those are hard battles to fight, but she's stuck it out. She's been a great teammate. Rolls this one to third, and Anderson takes care of the final out, but the Sooners we go. Not playing, spectating, no time to play. <laughs> Did you? Again, she won a high school state championship in Oklahoma back in 2018. This pop up taken care of by Grace Lyons for the first out. Sync with one another. You know, as a catcher, if a pitcher. One two pitch is a strike on the outer half to Haley Kripe. That is the first strikeout of the afternoon for Storaco. Tagline that it's her fifth year here at Oklahoma and really, really excels. I think we could say that about the entire coaching role. Um, and then they do a really good job of really good job just understanding you as the athlete that you are. That liner played on a hop out there by Riley Boone. It'll be the second hit of the day for the girls are just missing. They were missing. How do we make that? That liner will get out into right field. Grace Green will gather it up out there. And so the Jayhawks. See, Espy batting 279 for. I've heard this all the time. 
gives a cool factor. You know. Shot of Marina Heinz Field. We welcome you back in. A pack of the offense against Casey Hamilton. Bunted. Pulled nicely. Hamilton with the barehanded pickup, but not in. She did a really good job. And again, I think. Here today. Let's bunts this one foul. Mixing it up, showing some bunt with Bruno, the first baseman. She's been doing a good job just mixing it up. Down and in, and ball four to Jada Coleman. So she's, and how many lengthy at bats the Sooners have had so far today. You want swing throughs? Things drills this one to left. She turns and burns, and it's gone. T.R.A. Jennings skin. That got out of here in a hurry. Who is tracking it all the way? Great job by Jennings. More from Bolivar, Missouri, in her second season as a Jayhawk. Second inning. So that's a big difference. And I know Coach Gasso will relay that information and let them know that as they move forward. You got to have a lot of trust as the pitching coach. One and two, the count. She struck out her first time against Hamilton, and she lines a base hit into right field. So the offense. And potential. And I think she's a really good. Putting her in the lineup. Lions kind of in on her hands and popped up to her shortstop counterpart, Haley Harper. That is out number one. A couple of teams just rotate through pitcher. And <laughs> their approach to that was don't let them get comfortable. Potential double play ball to Harper. The relay by Kripe is in time. It's a half a mile away from us over at Eldale Mitchell Park there. New team. This one lined toward left field and just foul. Oh, pretty busy. Kansas today. Limbaugh bounces this one. Same thing that happened the first time that Limbaugh was at the plate and remember Starak. Going at that or just we're seeing obviously the aggressiveness that we've all. And there's strike three. Big. You know one thing that I was also thinking about too is it seems Bruno drives this one out of here and it's five to two. Ninth home run of the year for Olivia Bruno. She's driven in both Jason hitting, and I think that is a testament to their aggressiveness. And here's Ashlyn Anderson, the net to end the inning. There's a swinging strikeout, the tag applied by Haley Lee. Two strikeouts in the inning for Storaco. She has Sunday, and then everybody converges in Oklahoma City for the Big 12. Tossed it off to the side, ah. kind of just laying around. Lee shoots one back up the middle. Great play by Harper to range over and throw her out. To relieve somebody, you want to just see them stop the bleeding. Sliding backhand this time by Harper. Flashing the leather both ways is the kid. She's covering a lot of ground at shortstop in her arm. One, two, three inning defensively today. Great Jennings in this game. Jayhawks a solo home run from Olivia Bruno. But I, I did notice Brito. She was kind of yeah. stepping open just a little. Not. There's ball four outside. Two out walk to Grace Green. Getting that walk and Riley Boone coming up. It's it's not for this lineup. Coming in. Nearly. Boone has some pop. <laughs> she can Five walks and a hit by pitch. And this one is sprayed out into center field with two outs. On the move was Grace Green. The throw to the plate is cut off. And the Sooners tag on. I don't, th I don't think from where she was standing in center field, that's. Only Jada Coleman with 13 home runs has hit more. Dating myself <laughs> a little bit. Must be. Sooners have hit eight home runs this weekend. This is off the end of the bat, and it's going to be a tough play for Anderson. She won't be able to get her. Boone freezes at third, and the Sooners have loaded the bases. Wide open. So here is Sydney Sanders with a golden opportunity. It's a good opportunity for her to capitalize. And... Mm. And she's got that elbow guard on, but did that get the elbow guard, or was it maybe a little bit higher up the... No harm, no foul. Perfect. That's what it's there for. <laughs> I remember whenever elbow guards first came out. And Turk is actually here supporting his fiance on her senior day. And he himself. Dress way, former Sooner punter, still in the NFL's. Lions hits a hard hit ground ball. Another nice play by Haley Harper. And the inning is over. But two more Sooner runs. 25 lists. Rocco, Coleman Jennings, May, Jordy Ball. 
<laughs> on the That's mound. Cool. She was so good. And then I remember her getting in the box and was like, let's just walk it, it off. off. Yeah. Oh, by the way, as we get a pop up off the bat of Lindrup, that's caught by Riley Boone. Only one of the five Sooners in the top. And they're all over the plate a lot. There is strike three to Haley Kripe. Second time she has struck out looking today. Been wanting to go up and all of a sudden it just stays. Fly ball to center. Jada Coleman is there and Storaco works her first one, two, three inning of the day. And she will deal with Kinsey Hansen. De Roche dealing to the Sooner. I think this is the right call by Kansas. Sooners won that one in five. Base hit to right here for Hansen will start the Sooner bottom half of the fourth inning. Her first hit and the eight. Avery Hodge guys, runs at first base. Like you guys, get, like that's what you want. You want true triple threats where when I was getting recruited, it was they wanted slappers and power hitters. So the game has just evolved and um, they had so many bases loaded opportunities. It, it was almost wasted, right? And the walks, the, the free bases. And normally Oklahoma does such a good job. This is whenever she was at Texas with Connie Clark and just hearing the way her swing and a miss. There's that good off speed pitch by De Roche. <laughs> and that pitch is <laughs> the high spin rate is so deceptive because it is just tricked. And ball four loads the bases. Looks like we're going to see Jordy Ball come and pinch hit perhaps for Riley Boone. She's driven in eight runs, including two with a walk off base hit on. And a pop up to the shortstop. Harper, two gone. So Jordy Ball pops up in this pinch hitting role. Likes to flip in that <laughs> off speed. If if I were Coleman, I, I think I might have been it for the fall. What a strikeout there for De Roche. As she fans Jada Coleman with the bases loaded to fly ball to straightaway center field and caught by Jada Coleman for the first out. Not bad. For outfield. <laughs> Every <laughs> single time. <laughs> dirty. Dirty, dirty. Off speed there. Storaco with the. See, Limbaugh's 0 for 2, but she scored a run after reaching on a. Th Back up the middle. Green, I should say. Lions gets there, and the <laughs> inning is over. That is seven in a row. Was five for five. Five for five on winning Big 12 championships. Jennings lifts this one. There's that win. It's going to fall. It'll be a double for Tiara. <laughs> it makes it a little bit harder. Jocelyn Erickson had come on to play. Jennings, by the way, is four for four today. And Erickson slashes this one into the glove of the retreating shortstop Haley Harper for the first out. The best. 361 hitter with six home runs. Lions takes downstairs for ball four. And then Hodge gets in at bat with one away. It's kind of rare. I mean, eight walks for the season that they've been having. Hodge bunts one toward the third baseman, Anderson, who throws it wide of first base. Racing in comes T.R.A. Jennings, and the Sooners lead at eight to two. One. You know, I think it's more so about applying the pressure to. So take the run off the board and Hodge lifts a fly ball into shallow left field that'll be caught. As Limbaugh makes the catch. It was certainly came fair. I mean, it can hit the chalk and roll fair, <laughs> which it did. No, that's not, Lee not hits quality. Fly ball right at Renzi, the right fielder, and the inning is over. Sooners leave two more stranded. We go to the sixth. Loves Field, which is happening just down the street. The new home of Sooner Soft. Was like, yeah. This pitch is pulled to third. Big pump there by Brito. Guns it across to get Lyric Moore to start the sixth inning. Lilio is now out in left. Jordy Ball, obviously, to the circle. Alina Torres has replaced Grace Green. Bruno heading. I think we're good. 0-2 is strike three. 
So Jordy Ball comes in and strikes out Bruno, who had been two for two with a home run today. I can't remember what it feels like. I, I haven't been in full form, but she's done. Anderson to the shortstop, Avery Hodge, who can't come up with it. Be the second suit. They're a little brave, standing <laughs> pretty close sometimes. No, they are. Swing and a miss. Jordy Ball comes in and records a pair of strikeouts in relief of Alex Storacco. Seven way into a super regional. The Sooners would certainly be in position to host both of those here. The hit, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Brito tears this one past third and out into left field. A leadoff single for Brito is her second hit of the pitcher of the day, employed by the Jayhawks, and kept this game where it was. High chopper. Nice play there by Harper to step on the bag and throw it across to get Torres as well. A child she wouldn't have been able to set her feet. Love to see that. Ball hits a ground ball that this time deflects off the glove of Haley Harper and Jordy Ball winds of OU. They gave them a lot of opportunities that they were not capitalized on. So the fact that we've seen four pitching changes and all of these were don't even think that count matters to her. Yep. She hits a missile <laughs> in the gap in left center field on a 3-2 pitch. Ball scores easily from second base, and the Sooners take an 8-2 lead. The throw gets Finalist. away, rolls over. This ball way. just driven to the deepest part of the gap. Jordy scores easy. A Kansas error, and the Sooners open things up again. It's 8-2. Getting Tiare to get an out right there just like that, that's what you want to see. Ripe takes care of Jennings. Sooners had a run on three hits. Chopper off the plate. One away. Real close. Yeah. She's getting really, really close, and that is a great time. Just as a whole, the staff is really solid. Little fly ball that lands softly out in right center field for Peyton Renzi. Pick up. Offense didn't cash in on all the chances. Two errors made. But you look at the pitching. For the benefit of OU as a team and as a pitching staff. But I think, you know, you talk about peaking and, yeah, it's scary. <laughs> Off the end of the bat, a slow roller. Barehanded by Brito. The throw to first is not in time. And taking third on the play is Renzi. To be able to back her up like that. One, two pitch to Espy. Swing and a miss. And the Sooners have won their 11th straight Big 12 regular season championship. We welcome you into the Sooner softball postgame show presented by Bud Light, reminding you to please enjoy responsibly.